Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. Today we're going to be doing a short video. I know I'm not known for those, but um, I've gotten, with the release of Lightburn version 1.2, I've gotten barraged with a whole bunch of questions about, hey, what happened to line after fill? That's what we're going to do right now, today. So we're going to jump into it right now and talk about the new cut settings editor. And you're going to love it. So let's go. All right, so here we go. We're in Lightburn now. You can see up in the top here, it's version 1.2. And what I'm going to do is draw a square. So let's draw our square. And you'll see now that it's set to fill. Everything looks normal. Difference is, if we come into the cut settings editor here, you'll see we have something missing. We only have line, fill, and offset fill. Well, actually nothing is missing. There's something that's been added up here. See this tab? We can add more tabs if we want to. And, you know, people are saying, hey, you know, what happened to the line after fill? Well, now you create that line after fill. And it's just the same as if you used it before, except you're creating a separate layer. And the beauty of this, I'm going to show you the beauty of this. So watch now. Let's say that we're using a crosshatch. We're going to reference my uh, video on creating a coin. In that video on creating the coin, let's take the crosshatch off. We had a zero degree scan. So our scan angle was zero degrees like this. And that was the first pass. I'm going to call this one first pass for argument's sake. And we're going to go 6,000 and eh, I'm just going to say 70. None of these numbers really matter here. And it's going to be in fill. And now I can add a second pass by clicking that little plus sign right there adding a sub layer to our layer and wow this is nice i really like this so now what i'm going to do is i'm also going to do another fill the difference is i'm going to put this one into 90 degrees so i'm going to go in two different directions so now i'll have the first pass as our cross edge and let's change that to just a regular zero degree and this doesn't save until you say okay so we got the first pass zero degree second pass 90 degrees so now we have first pass zero second pass 90 i'm going to add a third one and you know what i forgot to do i'll put in here uh, i'll put 90 for this one so that i know that that's the 90 and let me change this one to i'll put this one at zero so i have zero 90 this way it's easier to understand for me anyway so now I have zero degree scan, 90 degree scan, and then the third line, let's say now I want to do another fill in crosshatch. And now I'll do, um, I'll put in here cross. Now you see we have three different layers. Let's do just one more. So now after the crosshatch, let's go ahead and do one fourth line. And let's call this one cut instead and leave it in line mode and uh you know take down the speed um say to 250 and 100 percent power and all of the variables are adjustable just like they were before here so now we have one two three four different functions that are see how this turned to multi that are happening on the same layer we don't even have a cut layer we just have this one layer and in this one layer are four different completely different functions and let me show that to you so if we come up here to the preview window i'm going to come scrub all the way back to the beginning you'll see there is our zero degree scan here comes our 90 degree scan and then here comes our cross hatch and then finally way at the end it's you can see it right there let me bring down the speed a little bit and i'll hit play and there is our cutout with the line after. Th this is a, a really, really nice feature that they've added to Lightburn, having these layers in here. I gotta tell you, today is July 1st. Since yesterday, when version 1.2 came out, all of a sudden, I got barraged with emails, and I'm saying, wait, uh, you know, Lightburn doesn't take things away. They add. The team over at Lightburn is a fantastic software development team. They are working hard all the time, adding new features. They don't take things away from Lightburn. 
and now if I wanted to let's say I didn't want to do the cut I can just come over here and click the minus button and get rid of that and I can also get rid of this one and I can also come up here to this one and I can do a clone so let's say that I wanted to do two of these I could just come here and do clone and that would bring up that as the last pass over here so you see there are no features missing this this is a brand new function in lightburn and i really like it because now i have i have everything numbered so or named however you want uh, zero degree 90 degree cross hatch and and you can name these things anything that you want so no line after fill is not gone it's been improved and i want to thank the people at lightburn for doing things like this because this makes our life much easier having just one layer over here we don't have to have a, a cut layer we don't have to have a second layer everything is all on one layer now and it keeps this window clear and now if you look here you'll also see that we can change tabs down here you see that three four so as as we're changing tabs down here what's happening is if we were to let's say come back into this and let's change these so that we can see the difference let's do two uh 2000 and let's do over here 1000 just so that we can uh see the difference 4500 and say okay so now when we come down here and if i click on the first tab you'll see 2000 speed 70 percent power you can also control these just the way you used to be able to if you're not a fan of the cut settings editor you can do it over here still come over here to the cross hatch you can still do your speed and your power you can do your pass count your line interval everything's still here and you'll see how these all change over here as i move through the tabs so instead of having the window filled with layers we now have tabs going across here and just a wonderful new feature i i love it i think it's the the greatest thing ever uh so no it has not gone away it has changed and gotten better lightburn is famous for this making these great changes that a lot of people don't realize because they're not reading the documentation well whenever a new version of lightburn comes out the very first thing that you should know is that you've just been notified there is a new version of lightburn would you like to download it now the minute that you say yes and while it's downloading you should run over to lightburnsoftware.com go to the documentation and find out what the new functions in the update are and that will avoid you having to ask questions or uh, in this case think that you're losing features which you're not all right so uh, one of the things that I don't usually do is self-promotion <laughs> and my self-promotion happens to be beneficial to you so uh, I just wanted to cover a couple things real quick the July let me refresh this page and see we already have 19 entries <laughs> the July laser raffle has started this month is going to be the per gear the laser storm L5 and you have 30 days left to enter this raffle I'll put a link down below as you know in all of my videos down below in the show more section uh, you're going to see a link to this raffle here and then I also want to just quickly announce something that I haven't talked about but people have found it um, I have a new website for personalized light burn training so if you're running into problems and you can't seem to get it fixed or if you need to learn some specific functions you can schedule either a 30 minute or a 60 minute class online if you have windows 10 okay so you have to have windows 10 high speed internet and you can schedule a personalized class with me online at a live schedule so if we were to click on here you can pick an available date and available time it'll tell you what dates and times I'm available so uh, I wanted to show you that and then of course one last thing I wanted to jump over to the and of course links are going to be down below I wanted to jump over to the forum real quick and just show you that we are now up to 
13,700 members. And let me tell you what, this, this community here is really becoming um, a popular active place where you can, uh, you know, come here and visit and get answers to your questions. Every day there's new posts. If you look in here, uh, you know, how to paint on glass, memorials, somebody with a problem that won't find their laser spelt with a Z. <laughs> Someone's first project, Norton White Tile versus Dark Blue Labs. There's all types of information on here. And we have, for those people looking for the downloads on the very main page, they're right here. Member only files and downloads. And once you're a member, now you won't see this section right here unless you become a member. But if we come into here, you can see that there's really active uh, posts going on in here. Uh, look at the number of 13,000, 21,000, 72,000 views. You know, a lot of active posts in here. And these downloads, the only time you're going to see replies is when I add new downloads. So if you're looking, for instance, for uh, art libraries right here, there are four pages of art libraries here. Uh, if you're looking for uh, cut and engrave settings for CO2 lasers, it's right here. If you need cut and engrave settings for diode lasers, it's right here. And if you click on that, uh, I always say read all of this and please <laughs> read these instructions. It's highlighted for a purpose. And you'll see here is a whole bunch of different uh, libraries for your cut and engrave settings. You have Ortur, NAJ, and three different types of NAJs. You have the ComGrow, 5 and 10 watt. In here is the Atomstack A5 Pro, the Atomstack 50 series, uh, or just all, all kinds of things here. Xtool 5 watt, Xtool 10 watt. Take a visit over to the forums and sign up for an account. It's free. Nothing here costs money. Uh, if you wanted to make a donation and support the effort, you could click on this link right here. And, you know, all donations are absolutely appreciated. I now have a little thanks button down at the bottom of the video. Uh, if my videos help you out in any way, you know, consider donating a dollar or two. Everything goes to support the effort. Everything that happens behind the scenes, all of the materials, the web server, you know, every everything that costs money you know, is paid for out of your donations. And that's about it for today's video. So today we covered, you know, the line, um, how to create multiple tabs in the new cut editor window, window. And hopefully that's gonna answer a bunch of questions. I hope people are gonna see the video before they shoot me emails. <laughs> and uh, today's a short video. So, uh, you know, I'm not good at that, but I made it, a special point today that I'm going to make a video that's, you know, not 30 minutes to an hour. <laughs> so hopefully I've uh, achieved that goal today. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I got it out as quickly as I could. And as always, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.